Hi, my fellow Food Day friends. So today I just wanted to come on here and do some quick comparisons with two of my Shushu Long custom brushes. Um, I just wanted to compare some similar shapes in my collection and just kind of go over, you know, the hairs and how they compare. Um, so first we have my Shushu Long custom brush. This is Sai Picoho Goat Hair. And as you can see, the hair is really, really, really fine. Um, I really wanted to compare it with the Sonia G Hinoki brush. And the hairs are really fine on this one. It does have bronzer on it. It's well loved. Don't mind it. <laughs> um, but I wanted to compare these two. And as you can see, they both have very, very fine hairs. Um, one difference though is the Shushu Long, the hairs almost look translucent. However, the Honoki usually looks the same. I think it's the bronzer that's on the brush. That's kind of messing with my eyes here, but here are the shapes compared. Um, softness wise, I do feel they are very, very, very similar. The tips on the Shushu Long do feel slightly softer. Not by much though. And again, it could be because the Hinoki has bronzer on it. But both beautiful brushes. The Hinoki is one of my favorite brushes from Sonia G. It's the perfect size. I do have smaller face features, so that brush is really good for bronzer. I do find myself using it more than the Jumbo, um, what is it, the Jumbo bronzer? Let me see here. Oh, Niji Pro, sorry, Niji Pro. I find myself using Hinoki more than that because the size is just perfect. So that is a really nice brush. But I also wanted to compare um, the Shu Shu Long with my beloved Hakahodo J5543. As you can see, it was one. It was actually my first Hakahodo cheek brush ever, and the Hakahodo logo has since faded. Um, but I actually put polish over my Hakahodo brushes now, just over the numbering and the Hakahodo, so it doesn't wear off. But this one unfortunately started wearing off before I was able to do that, so that was a bummer. But anyway, to the brushes. Um, so here they are compared. And as you can see, very, very similar. The Hakahoto is very, very, very soft, as always. But there's just something about Shu Shu Long Saibi Koho goat hair. Like, look at the shine to those tips. They're just so fine. I would say the Shu Shu Long is slightly softer than the Hakahoto. And might be hard to see on camera, but there is a slight color difference. Um, the Shushu Long is just slightly whiter. Just beautiful. Again, they're both beautiful brushes. I do not regret having either one, but yeah, Shushu Long is definitely softer. It just has this beautiful feel to the bristles. Absolutely gorgeous. Not saying the Hakahoto isn't soft, because it sure is, but I just wanted to compare those two. Another brush I wanted to compare it to is the beloved Tom Ford 06 brush. And this is the natural hair version. I've had this one in a brush guard, so it's normally more bloomed. But this is just such a beautiful brush. And here's the Shu Shu Long compared to it. And even with the Shu Shu Long, I do feel like the tips just look finer. Not saying the Tom Ford isn't because the hair quality on the original natural hair Tom Ford brushes are absolutely out of this world. But here's a close up. And yeah, there's just something about the Shu Shu Long 
that is just so lovely. Oh, I just love it. But I do love my beloved 06 as well. <laughs> Great brush. Um, another brush I wanted to compare is with my Takeda brush. And this is the, I believe it's the 23 SOVD 35. I will have to comment or update my description box to make sure, but I didn't get this one engraved. It was one of my first Takeda brushes, so I'm going to have to check. But I figured this would be an amazing comparison because Takeda's EXS bristles are super fine. And in fact, I would say this is the closest match to the Shushu Long. The hairs look very, very, very similar. See how they almost look translucent at the tips? But again, the Shushu Long just looks a little bit more translucent, if you know what I mean. Very similar though. And Takeda's bristles, as you can see up here, they have like baby peach fuzz at the very, very, very tips. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. Yeah, it's just so beautiful. Um, their EXS bristles are super soft, super smooth, and just really, really, really beautiful. But dare I say this Shu Shu Long Sai Pi Coho Go brush might be ever so slightly softer and I'm mm, about the same. I would rate these about the same softness wise, which I never thought I'd find anything as soft as my Takeda EXS bristles. So that says a lot. And I also have had this brush in a brush guard as well. So that's another thing to note. But wow, is that close. That was the closest out of them all. Um, and then I also wanted to bring out the beloved Wayne Goss 11. This is another brush I've had in a brush guard. So it's not as bloomed as it normally is, but very, very, very soft. Another great comparison. Yeah, there's just something special about the Shushu Long Sai Pi Coho, but... The Wayne Goss is very soft. In fact, I would say it might be just as soft as the Hakuhodo, which I'm pretty sure rumor had had it that Wayne Goss had Hakuhodo making his brushes, so that would make sense. Very, very similar in softness between the Wayne Goss and the Hakuhodo. And then just for size comparison, I don't have any other Red uh, Squirrel Sai Pi Coho Goat Brush mix. I have the Blue Squirrel and um, Goat Mix from Hakuhodo, which I probably should have taken out. But this brush is incredibly soft. And in fact, let me grab one just for comparison's sake. Um, I have the Hakuhodo G6430, and I just want to compare the softness. Obviously, the shape's different. Round brushes, it's probably going to feel softer, but no. Nope. <laughs> the Red Squirrel and the Sai Pi Coho from Shu Long is softer than Hakuhodo's, ever so slightly. Not by much, just a little. Look at that. It's just beautiful. And these brushes are new, so they're still having a little bit of floating hairs. I just washed them, so that's normal. But there's a difference between um, blue squirrel and goat versus red squirrel and goat, just for the color difference. I really love the way um, the red squirrel and the goat look together. They're just so stunning. This brush is beautiful. And here it is just for size comparison next to the Hinoki, Sonya G Hinoki. Compared with the Hakuhodo J5543. Tom Ford 06. And to me, 
I just love this size, so I did the same brush, just with different bristle types. I just love that squared off look. It's my favorite. A little floater there. And then next to the Takeda. And then next to the Wingoss 11. So yeah, I mean, what I love about this size, and again, this is um, 36 millimeters, both of these is I can use them both for blush and bronzer. They're just the perfect size. And I do have smaller features and they still work for both blush and bronzer for me. And if you're a minimalist, you could even use these for powder. They're just the perfect shape and size in my opinion. So yeah, I just wanted to give some quick comparisons. Um, if I find out the exact Takeda numbering, pretty sure that's the 23 SOVD35, but I will make sure to update my description box with all the brushes mentioned in this video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Bye.